Well, in light of national demonstrations, the Twin Falls Police Department and City Council say they have a plan to create more of an open dialogue between themselves and the Twin Falls American uh, African American community. Now, Idaho News reporter Alex Grant has more tonight on how the police department plans to reach out. The department is working towards setting up a community meeting for the public to vocalize their concerns. Until the meeting date is established, the department is opened up to other forms of communication. We are just open if anybody wants to invite us, whether it's to places of worship, to uh, community centers, to uh, neighborhood watch meetings, whatever there is, we'll be ready to go. For those wishing to get in contact and start conversation with the police, the best way right now would be by contacting the chief directly. I'll make myself available. They can just contact me. Probably the easiest way, honestly, is my email. And it's just my first initial, my last name at tfid.org. C. Kingsbury at tfid.org. And I would love to uh, meet with people and talk about these issues. The department is more than willing to listen to all topics of areas of concern that people may have. Racism, policing, injustice. The department ensures they will not hide from people's questions. Each individual that comes to these meetings, they have their own experiences and background. Some, some good experiences with law enforcement, maybe some not so good experiences with law enforcement. And really, it's just being able to listen to what they have to say. During this time, the department has also spoken to diversity specialist Sherry Hagan, who spoke at the vigil Tuesday night. She plans to meet with the department and educate them on these outstanding issues. So being a Twin Falls native, she is willing to uh, help us here at the Twin Falls Police Department and, and, and help us to have those conversations within our ranks about diversity and, and um, cultural competency. In Twin Falls, I'm Alex Grant, Idaho News 6.